Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be showing you how I like to do my own nails with dip and gel polish. So this is the result, a really pretty like blue glittery um, nail. So to get started, I am going to be getting rid of the old gel polish that I had on, which was this like really, really super light pink. Um, I love that pink. It's so pretty, but you could see um, my nails were grown out just a little bit and I just wanted to change my design. So I'm starting with a pretty rough bit to get all that gel polish off and thin out um, the dip that I have underneath, which is just regular acrylic, like clear acrylic, and I do a dip um, application. So I'm gonna go in with my um, drill bit here on medium speed, and I'm just gonna get rid of all of that uh, old gel polish, and um, I'm also gonna be debulking my acrylic, like I said. Um, so that it's nice and thin so that when I do my new layers of dip with the acrylic powder that it's not like super super thick since I do keep my nails nice and short. So whenever I am doing any type of enhancement on myself or any of my guests or clients, um, I like to do a dry manicure. So I don't like to soak the nails uh, or use any uh, cuticle remover or anything. So what I'm doing here is just with my, my cuticle pusher, I'm pushing back um, the skin on my nails and just getting it away from my nail so that I could go in with my nippers and just go right around the cuticle and I'm really gently like this looks crazy because I have it kind of sped up but I'm really gently just getting rid of any of the skin that is white so if the skin is white around your nail that is dead skin that you could remove so I do this really gently and I like to do this with all of my clients that are getting um, nail enhancements even gel polish because that's gonna make the, um, the application or the enhancement or whatever you're applying last longer um, so then I am gonna go in and use these products. So I have the Revel Nail um, Pro Base, which is like this number one step, and then the activator. And then I have a brush cleaner in the back there, and that thing is from Sally's, that quick dip is from Sally's. And then I'm just using regular clear acrylic from CND. And those are my supplies for uh, my dip. So once I have everything set up, I'm going to start applying and I like to do a nice thin layer of um, the like number one, which is like the base for the dip. Um, and then I do one finger at a time and I'm going to just apply that, dip it into the powder kind of like in a scooping motion to make sure the whole nail is dipped. And then I move on to the next nails and you can see I like tap off any excess to make sure that there's not like a just a bunch of powder just sitting on my nail so I like doing this uh, way with clear because um, then I just put whatever polish color I want over top so I do have a bunch of um, powders that have color which is just colored acrylic um, but I like doing um, different things every once in a while so now that I have all um, all five fingers done with the powder I'm gonna dust it off with a brush and now I'm gonna go in with my activator so I only did one layer of the um, the dip powder because I'm doing gel polish on top which is gonna thicken it up a bit and I didn't really get rid of too much bulk um, so I had plenty of like acrylic on there to start with so I did just one layer with the new um, the new dip so then I go in and just make sure to activate the nails and that product is a little bit watery so it's really easy to just apply and get it all over so now um, after I waited like 
like 10 15 seconds I'm gonna go in and start shaping my nail so I like to have a square nail so I'm shaping around the free edge making sure it's nice and straight and then I'm gonna also file around the sides to make sure that my um, like the the side walls are nice and clean and even and perfect So with the smooth side of my nail file, I am going to just lightly, lightly go over the top of my nail just to smooth everything out. I don't like to use my e-file when I'm doing dip because there's such little product that we're putting on the nail that if you use the e-file, you're just going to get it all off. So I just like to use my hand file really lightly over the surface of the nail just to make sure it's nice and smooth and there's no bumps and everything is perfect. So after I have dusted my nails, make sure there's no like lingering dust from filing, I'm gonna activate um, my nails one more time. So I'm gonna take this activator again and I'm just gonna apply a really light layer of that. So not anything crazy, just gonna apply that all over my nail. And that is the end of the dip section of this video. So now I'm going to go in with my polish. So I'm picking this super pretty blue and then um, this one that has glitter. And it's really like the colors are really similar. So Vegas Strip is the glitter polish from Kiara Sky. And then the uh, gelish polish is called Ruffle Those Feathers. So I'm going to go in with the solid color first and I'm just applying that all over my nail making sure not to get it on my skin and if I do get it on my skin I like to clean it off right away because when you cure it it's gonna like get stuck so I like to just make sure all the edges are perfect and clean and also don't forget to cap your nails that's gonna make the polish last longer since I'm applying a glitter polish on top I only did one layer of the solid blue color because I'm gonna cover all of the nails with the glitter anyway, so it's just like a pre-glitter color. So I'm just gonna apply my glitter all over my nail. So I thought at first I was just gonna do my ring finger, but I really loved it, so I just put it on all of my nails and it looked so, so good. And I'm pretty sure I only did one layer of the glitter polish as well. So once that was done curing, I go in with a little bit of alcohol on a paper towel and I just cleanse my nails to get rid of that sticky layer. And so this is what they look like. Um, so you can see they're not super thick uh, since they are really short that I'm just like putting a little bit of um, strength on my nails, which are really, really thin and like frail. So I like to have an enhancement on them at all times. And then my very last step is to add some cuticle oil. This one is from Rebel Nail and it smells so good. It is amazing, I love it. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of cuticle oil all around. Um, like the top of my fingers and then I'm gonna massage it in and that is the end of this video So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this video as I did my nails and I will have many more videos coming soon um, If you did like it go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with all of my videos that I will be posting in the future and I will see you guys in my next one. See ya